yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. To mark the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, we visited the National Archives in College Park, Maryland, to see a selection of five U.S. Navy deck logs from that day. The logs are routine written records of activities and observations on naval ships, but they were anything but routine on the day of infamy. Uh, according to this deck log, at 7.50, Japanese planes commenced bombing attack on yard by dive bombers. And at 7.52, the USS Maryland sounded general quarters. And shortly thereafter, the Maryland records that the Oklahoma, which is the ship right next to it, was hit by an unknown number of torpedoes. Now, the notable thing about the deck log for the USS Maryland is, um, at the time, uh, it appears that a lot of the radio transmissions uh, went through the USS Maryland, meaning a lot of these radio transmissions were actually recorded in the deck log itself. And what that ultimately means is a lot of the confusion that was occurring at the time of the attack, notably we had no idea where the Japanese were at the time or what they were planning on doing next, uh, kind of lends itself from the deck log itself. So for instance, at 1201, it's recorded that parachute troops were reported landing at Barber's Point and enemy tankers were reported four miles off of uh, the coast of Oahu. Now, as most people know, um, that was not the case, but at the time they weren't sure if this air attack was a prelude to something bigger, um, if they were gonna launch an invasion of Oahu itself to completely knock out the naval base. Um, but again, as we know, uh, that was not the case. Another entry of note is at 11.43, as a part of the further continuation of the confusion, uh, the Maryland writes, uh, report received enemy troops wearing blue coveralls with red emblems. So not only did we think they were attacking, we knew what they were just like. So definitely it's, it's valuable at the very least just for the first-hand accounts that we receive. Um, you have for, from the USS Nevada and especially from the USS Maryland, you can just see at the time the chaos that was occurring. Um, we kind of get an idea of what some people were thinking at the time, uh, what the ships were doing at the time, uh, how we were responding to the attack, uh, and other things of that nature. So for historians, it's a very useful tool just to kind of get an idea of, in this instance, seeing what was happening at the attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, other folks who might be interested in it too, or genealogists, just to see um, who was located on the ship at the time, uh, who may have passed away and things like that. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Mm -hmm. 